Hi. Our topic is about explaining how land masses and bodies of water affect typhoons. Let's begin. There are different factors affecting typhoons. Some of these are the presence of land masses and the bodies of water. Land masses can weaken a typhoon in many ways. For instance, land masses weaken typhoons. Typhoons need a large amount of water vapor from a vast area of water, but since land masses have relatively low amount of water, typhoons landing on land masses usually become weaker. Second, mountain ranges can impede or slow down the wind speed and strength of typhoons. Mountain service barrier against strong winds and heavy precipitation. The orthographic lifting can weaken the impact of the typhoon in an area. Orthographic lifting refers to the flow of air from oceans to mountains causing orthographic precipitation. This causes areas at the seaside to become wetter, and those in the lee side to become drier and less prone to typhoons. Now, let's learn how bodies of water affects typhoons. Bodies of water affects typhoons in two ways. First, it provides the water necessary for evaporation to produce warm, moist air that fuels a typhoon. This abundant amount of water is absent in land masses. This is also the reason why all typhoons originate from large bodies of water. Second, these bodies of water determine the humidity and temperature which are important in the formation of typhoons. High relative humidity and high temperature is necessary in the formation of typhoons. In summary, land masses usually weaken typhoons by limiting the amount of water vapor and by impeding the strength of its winds, while bodies of water strengthen them as they provide water vapor, humidity, and warm air. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.